Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of application tools and some neglected features of it. Today, I will discuss and demonstrate formatting text and for users of MS Office or other application tools, you know I believe how to format characters or text. First, what is character formatting? Now, when we talk of character formatting, it means changing the appearance of text, such as selecting a font or typeface, changing the font size, applying a style or color. Now, I have a question. How do you format characters in your document? Let me show you two ways. First is done when texts are already available okay so for example i will select this text word processing software and then apply the formatting character that you would like to apply for example making it bold or having an underline or changing the font or changing even the color so that's the first method the second method is very important when you know what formatting command you would like to apply before typing the text now for example i will apply uh, arial and then the font size is 22 or for example if i don't like changing the font size i would use a style heading one and then i'll make it bold and then type the text for example topic one wps introduction so those are the two ways to format text or characters take note also that there are many ways to apply a formatting command the first one is using the font group the commands in the font group the second method is or way is using the shortcut keys and the third one is activating the font dialog box now are you familiar with the shortcut keys well, for example uh, bold is control b i is for control i is for italics control u for underline and uh, for example control shift d for double underline control shift w for underline words only Okay, let me just show you the difference of the three. Okay, so for example, I will highlight this one. Control U. Notice that there's single line and all spaces are included in the underline. Control Shift D, double underline. And Control Shift W is underline words only. Another formatting shortcut command, I should say, is increasing the font size for example control close bracket would increase font size by one point control open bracket is to decrease font size by one point or control shift greater than would increase font size using the available sizes here and after 72 it will be by 10s, 80, 90, 20, uh, 100, and so on and so forth. And control shift uh, less than would mean decreasing the font size using the available font size numbers here. Okay? And if you would like to have a subscript, then you can have control plus. For example, you have H2O. And you would like two 
to be in subscript so you ha have to press control plus okay when you have when you would like to have a superscript for example x squared plus y squared and you would like 2 to be a superscript control shift plus control shift plus and there you go you have the superscript so these are some of the shortcut keys that we can use in formatting the font or a character now let's proceed to how we can use the font dialog box the font dialog box gives you a complete list of the formatting commands for font or characters and how do we activate the formatting uh, at the font dialog box you can either press ctrl d for the shortcut command or use the dialog box launcher here for font click this one and you have this dialog box take note there are two tabs here the font and the advanced tab under font you have the list of fonts the style that you would like to apply either regular bold uh, italic bold italic you have the sizes here if you have if you want to select from the list or you type the size here for example in the list there's no available font size 15 and you want to use 15 then simply type on the text box area you can have the font color you can have the underline style so you have the words only single underline double underline and other choices for the underline now once you apply an underline take note that you can also change the color of the underline aside from changing the font color there are also effects that you could apply like having a, st a strike through notice on the preview or double strike to then you have the superscript and subscript here you can have the small caps and then all caps and if you would like to hide certain text you can click on this okay so that's under the font tab now we proceed to advanced tab okay what is important here is you know how to use spacing or scaling for example i would like to expand spacing of my characters and into four points i'll i'll type or maybe you can click on this and then okay you notice that no i i didn't select any any let me repeat you have the font i'll expand and then put four points here okay you notice that the spacing of characters is already applied okay that's all for the font dialog box now along with formatting of fonts is the use of styles styles is very important especially when you would like to have your style for heading one heading two and this will be used later on when you will be creating table of contents in your document okay this is the purpose of this so anyway for example you would like this one to be heading one and then you would like this one to be heading two okay just to show you what happens so i'll try for example to let's just have an advanced uh, discussion here i'll try for example to uh, create a table of contents you notice that based on the headings applied the heading one would be the main and then you have the heading two as the sub of the heading one that's the purpose of using styles okay we will have more discussions on this once we go to the references
Thank you for listening and hope you learned something about formatting characters. God bless everyone.